Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today is an absolutely glorious beautiful sunny day if not a little bit too hot for my liking but I thought today as we have been well we've been doing some pretty intense riding we've done some 24 hour challenges I thought today with this beautiful weather we would just go out and have a nice chilled overnighter bikepacking trip and I thought I'd take you guys along with me now we're gonna head out sort of Wiltshire kind of direction. We've got about a hundred mile loop that I've plotted using Kamut, using people's sort of points of interest. So I don't really know how it's gonna go. I don't know how the route's gonna turn out, but it's a nice day. We've got a very, we should have a beautiful night under the stars and just generally have a nice, peaceful, enjoyable bikepacking trip instead of some epic 24 hour missions. Right, let's keep moving. Ugh, it's hot. Just as I thought it was gonna be a peaceful, peaceful trip. Bloody sand and ruts. Oh wow. Bit of a dirty leg, but I think I'm all good. Oh. Oh. A little cut. Should be good. Ow, singing that oh. Bloody things. About 23 miles in, it's absolutely boiling and I'm uh, sweating loads. One thing I really want to do on this trip, this little overnight trip, if I can, if I can find somewhere, is just have a little river dip, have a little river swim, a little wide, wild swim, because uh, I need to cool down. And hopefully I can find a shop, because I really want to buy like an ice lolly. <laughs> I am just, my mouth is dry, doesn't matter how much water I drink, Oh, my waters are warm, it's just uh, but yeah, very hot. I'm looking forward to a very refreshing, cool night tonight. It should be around 13 14 degrees, so it should be absolutely beautiful tonight. Uh, right, looks like we're gonna go into some more stinging nettles, probably. Well, wouldn't be a uh, bike packing trip without the stinging nettles, I guess, at the moment. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. It looks like it gets quite bad up there. I need to bring like a, a lawnmower. Ah, the old dock leaves, apparently. The old wives tail that these stop the sting. Absolutely no idea if it's really true or it's just a placebo effect, but to be fair, it does feel like it works. I might just take one of them spare. The end is in sight. Ah, oh, growl, kind of. Ow, 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 
Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Ah. 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 Right guys, I'm just coming through Wilton. Just bumped into Mike. Hello. Shout hello. out to his girlfriend. Hello Katie, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I so, told you. <laughs> he's famous now. <laughs> it's always fun and always cool to bump into you guys. So shout out, hi again Mike. Um, yeah, just coming through Wilton. Absolutely boiling day. You really can't win in the UK. If it's winter, everything's boggy and unrideable. And if it's summer, everything's overgrown and stinging me. I'm absolutely covered in stinging nettle rashes. I'm sunburnt, bloody English skin. But I'm gonna have a bit of a siesta right now because yeah, I'm absolutely sweating. We got loads of food. We got, we got some apple and mango juice. We got some grapes. We got some strawberries and grapes in our meal deal. We got some barbecue chicken pasta. And we've got an ice cold monster. Um, probably not going to have that tonight because uh, it's a bit late and I want to sleep. But I'm going to sit here for a bit. I'm going to cool down, refresh, and then we're going to head a little bit more into the route. But I'm just going to try and find somewhere to camp. Now, as you can see, the Sonder is there, pretty lightly packed. All I've pretty much brought, because it's just a quick overnighter, is the uh, bivvy and a sleeping bag. Because I really just want a really good night under the stars. Should be a beautiful, peaceful night. That's what we're going to do. But first I'm gonna refresh because oh, I'm just all stinging. And on that, that little crash back there, um, I just managed to like, I think the saddle smacked into my back. It just like really hurts. So uh, I think I'll have a bit of a bruise there. Haven't found any rivers to have a nice swim in yet. Um, hopefully we'll find one tonight or tomorrow. Right, food time, so hot. <laughs> Right guys, so I have come to the end of my first little day, this overnight trip. I've done about 40 something miles, 42, 43, something like that. We've got about 60 to do tomorrow, which is fine because we're going to get to wake up super, super early. Sunrise is at like half four, maybe even like a little bit earlier than that. Um, but I'm actually looking forward to sort of getting a really early start with like nice, cool temperatures because today way too hot. It's about 30 degrees. Uh, it's just way too hot for Josh. How burnt I am already. Um, yeah, I found a little wooded area out of the sun for a bit. I've, it's only, what is the time right now? Only 20 to 8, so I've still got about an hour and a half until the sun starts to set. But I'm going to be able to chill here under some shade, enjoy the birds, and then the sun will finally drop down we'll have a nice bivvy night gonna set up the bivvy just here i'm gonna do that in a little bit i'm just gonna sit here for a bit and uh, chill and uh, make sure nobody comes past the trails there but it's such a remote kind of place that i don't think many people will come through especially at night so yeah trails today very overgrown my legs are on fire again i just 
part of me loves the winter riding because you don't have all the stinging nettles, but then everything's boggy. But then the summer, everything's stinging nettly, but everything's dry. Can't win. I'm just gonna chill here and uh, wait for the sun to set. Well guys, I have just got done watching the sunset. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful sky tonight. So clear, not a cloud in the sky. Now normally I'd love to just like camp, like just lay here, but the grass is just like too long. And uh, I think because tonight, the temperature's gonna drop to like 10 tonight, out here is just gonna get very, very wet and horrible. So. We're gonna stay in the woods. Unfortunately, that would be beautiful to sort of lay there and watch the sky, watch the stars, but I don't wanna get soaking wet. So I think inside the wooded area should be the best. What a beautiful, beautiful sunset. Oh, I do love watching a sunset, but I tell you what, I actually prefer sunrise. What do you prefer, guys? Do you prefer a sunset or a sunrise? because they're both beautiful, both equally beautiful, but I just think sunsets are not quite as good as sunrises, and it's super dark in this woods already. Right, let's, uh, let's set up this bivvy now. That is where I was sleeping tonight. Absolutely perfect. Good morning guys, it's currently about 5.30 a.m. I decided to sleep a little bit later because this like camp spot was like so perfect. It was so quiet, it was so peaceful, it was so comfortable. And now my alarm's going off and just like so comfortable. Um, had a really good night's sleep really. Um, it was probably the hottest night that I have had in a very long time, even to the point where I didn't even bother sleeping in the sleeping bag for most of the night. I was just in a bivvy, just laying on my sleeping bag. Um, yeah, it was, didn't, it's currently about 15 degrees. I think the lowest it got was like 13. So it wasn't cold at all. Really nice, warm and comfortable. Right, I'm just gonna have some cookies for some breakfast and then we are gonna crack on with this little overnight trip. Hopefully today has no crashes, less stinging nails, and some nice views. The sun seems to be hidden behind some clouds today. Right, some cookies, and let's go. Wow, that mighty view is being hidden by lots of fog. Look where you go. Right, we're heading down there into the clouds. Let's go. <laughs>
was all going so well until we got to this point. So many fawns out. Ooh, spooky, spooky woods. Once I've uh, managed to trek through all this overgrown stuff, um, we get to a point where there's an old Roman road, nice and straight. On Camus, it looks like it's all that a nice gravel track or something, so that should be nice. And at that point is the point where we start sort of heading back towards Bournemouth. But yeah, it was like all going really well this morning until we got to about this bit. We've had nice like old droves and like nice and flowy, a little bit overgrown, but just like grass. And now um, we get into the overgrown fawns, which my leg is all just cut up now, completely cut up. And uh, it's all misty. We've got patches of rain. What happened to the sun? It was like a beautiful, beautiful day. And now today, it's quite cool though. It's refreshing. Right, let's uh, continue through this. Finally out of that mess. Ah, oh, that hurt. Lots and lots of fawns, but now I think we're on a nice Roman road. Nice and uh, lush gravel. Ah, oh, it looks good. Some rideable trails. Let's hope they continue for a bit. Probably doesn't look that steep on camera, but I can assure you it is. And I'm too scared to ride it. Not on the, not on the gravel bike. Brakes are way not powerful enough for this. <laughs> well, it's starting to brighten up now, guys. I have done around 20 miles. I've got about 30 miles to go. I'm gonna stop here for a little bit. Just chill out, enjoy the view. It's uh, very muggy today. Um, it's a lot cooler than yesterday, but it's very uh, like sticky, humid heat. Um, I'm gonna have some uh, some squashies, and then uh, we're gonna crack on. I think because I haven't found anywhere I can go for a little wild swim. I think what we're gonna do is when we get back to Bournemouth, we're gonna go straight to the beach. And we're just gonna jump in because I just feel all like sticky and stingy and just ugh, just a bit horrible. So yeah, I think that is gonna be the plan. But we've got about 30 miles to go. Probably 20 of that is gonna be kind of like off-road, tough going, and then the last 10 will be sort of getting into Bournemouth, I'd imagine. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure on the way we're going into Bournemouth. I can't remember how I did it. Ah, oh, but time to have some squishies and enjoy this view.
there yet. And well guys, that probably got to be the best way to finish a little bike packing trip. The route actually worked out pretty well. Pretty overgrown in places obviously, but actually quite a lot of fun to ride. Mostly all rideable if it just wasn't so overgrown. Oh, and this is the perfect way to end this trip. So guys, if you enjoyed this little bike packing overnight trip around Wiltshire, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more adventures like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, keep smiling. Enjoy the adventure. Peace.